Bless up my viewers and all of my subs them. Pleasant good night. We have a few updates where we want to give you know, quick and fast with no further ado, no too much talking. But do remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in the comment section. Please let the comment be clean and lawful. Let's get into it. Cop dies from attack by a man of unsound mind in Linstead. The Jamaica constable forced JCF as again being plunged into mourning with the death of a policeman during a reported up provoke attack by a man believed to be of unsound mind in Linstead St. Catherine on Friday morning. The incident reportedly happened as the lawman walked along King Street, one of the main trophies in the rural town. The deceased have been identified as Detective Constable Paul Garden. There are unconfirmed reports that the police personnel shot and killed the perpetrator not longer after the attack on the lawman. The corporate communication unit CCU, the police information arm, confirmed the attack and the policeman indicate that the officer was walking along the roadway towards an ATM when he was attacked and hit with a stone on the forehead at about 6.45 a.m. this morning. The lawman fell to the ground and bleeding and unconscious and was quickly assisted by police personnel who arrived on the scene but he succumbed to his injuries while being treated at the Linstead Hospital. More details to become in a developed story. So right now, man accused of murder held minutes after boarding, after broad daylight attack my viewers and my sub. 20-year-old Brandon Thompson of Racecourse Falmouth in Trelawney has been charged with the murder of 31-year-old Kevil Reed, which was committed on Queen Street Falmouth in the parish. It is alleged that about on Saturday, September the 18th, around 12 midday, Thompson and another man attacked Reed and opened gunfire, hitting him to the upper body and then escaped on a motorcycle. Thompson was arrested later that day and charged on Wednesday, September the 22nd. His court date is being finalized at, this, at we speak at this moment. Three arrested for reported multiple abuse at Clifton Boys Home. The Westmoreland Police have arrested and charged three people for a serious abuse of eight wards of the state of Clifton Boys Home in Darlingston, Westmoreland, between March 2016 and March 2021, following investigation into allegations of physical abuse at the facility. The manager of the facility, 80-year-old Irene McDonald, has been charged with assault occasionally, badly armed and unlawful wounding. Meanwhile, her son, 58-year-old Williams McDonald, the assistant manager, and her granddaughter, 35-year-old Rashida McDonald, a housekeeper of the facility, have been charged with assault occasionally occasionally badly armed over the period under the investigation eight boys from as young as one zero years of years old to 17 years old were alleged physically abused by the, the trio one occasion williams mcdonald reportedly used an iron chair to beat the 17 year old boy at another time he allegedly used a piece of board to beat the 15 year old boy and drag another down a set of stairs. It is further reported that Irene McDonald beat four other children, resulting in bruises and a wound to one of them. On the other occasion, Russian McDonald allegedly physically assaulted two other boys. A report was subsequently made to the Child Protection and Family Service Agency and the police. An investigation was launched and the three accused were arrested and charge for the incident. Some of them people are really some dirty people, you know. Trust me, my viewers and my sub. Sorry if I say it like that, but some of them people yeah, are really some dirty, 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 dirty people. Mentally ill man attack cop with machete before being killed. 
Police Commissioner extends condolences to family of the deceased cop. The Police High Command has expressed condolences to the family, friends and colleagues of a police constable who died after being attacked by a man of unsound mind along King Street in Linstead, St. Catherine on Friday, September the 24th. The deceased officer is a 34-year-old Paul Gordon who was assigned to the Technical Service Division and was based in Linstead. Reports indicate that about 6.45 a.m. Constable Gordon was walking along the roadway when the mentally challenged man used a stone to inflict a wound to the lawman's head. Minutes after, while the police were trying to apprehend the suspect, he was said to have attacked the officers with a machete and was fatally shot. The Jamaica Constable Force, JCF, Complacent Unit and the Welfare Unit are providing support to the family members and colleague of the constable who was fatally taken out by this mad, mad man. Too much mad man in a Jamaica right now. Some of them mad man I need to take up off the street and put in a mentally ill home or something like that. Get rid of them man. Get them off the street because there is, this is not the first case. This is more than one case of this unsound mind where I'm do. And right now, if the police, if I never a police get slapped with, them wouldn't want to put an end to it. Some of you as I must have leave on an honest comment on an honest comment in our comment section. Make one want to think about this situation. Chill on a fisherman book and murder charge. Detective from the Colonel Criminal Investigation Branch CIB at the Falmouth Police Station in Chilani have charged a fisherman in connection with a killing of a 31 year old. Reed, who was gunned down at a garage in Falmouth on Saturday. The accused has been identified as Brandon Thompson of Racecourse, Falmouth. Reports are that about midday, the police were called after several gunshots were heard coming from the vicinity of a garage along George Street in Falmouth. On their arrival, the police saw Reed suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was taken to the Falmouth hospital where he was pronounced dead. Thompson was taken into custody. Later the day, on Wednesday, he was charged with murder following a question and answer session in the presence of a lawyer. A date has not yet been set for the first court appearance of the accused. But please stay tuned for more on this case right now. We will be giving you guys a lot of update for this briefing. Some of you as I'm a sub want to talk to no member saying I'm a viewers I'm a sub. We are on a road of getting to 1k subscribers. 1k subscribers, my viewers I'm a sub. Me a member uno. Please, whenever you want to watch the upload them my viewers I'm a sub, just click the subscribe button right away. Help JNN News Channel for reach the 1000 subscribers needed to get monetized on YouTube. I want to continue to watch up the channel, you know. Continue to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment in our comment section. Member, press like on the video, them viewers. I'm a sub, like up the video, them. So YouTube can automatically recommend the video to other people. So anyway, bless up and keep safe. Right